Praise the Lord. God bless you. This is your friend in the gospel street pastor, preacher Warren. I want to say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Um, by the time this video will get out, it, Mother's Day will probably be over, but love your mother every day. You say, honor your father and mother, for this is right. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. Uh, give your mother's flowers now while she can smell the flowers now. Don't wait till after she die. And then you go crying over the casket. Give your mother's flowers now while she can smell the flowers now. You know, I was having a discussion with the Lord. Praise the Lord. And I know hell is real just like heaven is real. And a lot of people say, oh, I'm going to serve the Lord because I don't want to go to hell. Listen, I don't want to go to hell, but I want to serve the Lord because he deserves to be served. I feel the Holy Ghost on that. Not just only serve the Lord because I don't want to be lost in hell. No, I don't want to go to hell. But I want to serve God because he deserves to be served. Well, I feel the Holy Ghost right there. A lot of people say that when the praises go up, the citizen church, you know that song, when the praises go up, the blessings come down. Let me tell you something. I don't want to only just send the praises up to God just to get blessed. I want to send praises up to God because he deserves the praise, not just only to get blessed. Israel got blessed and they took his praise and glory and gave it to a golden calf. They gave it to a golden calf. They gave it to a statue. A lot of folk just only pray to God just when they want money. Or when they have a marriage problem. Or when they want to get out the shelter. Yes, God can meet your need. But how about obeying the same God who makes your need? Oh, come on, somebody. I don't want to just pray to God just only when I get in trouble. I want to pray to God because he deserves the praise. He deserves to be prayed to. He deserves to be obeyed. Oh, my God. Not just what I'm going to obey God because I don't want God to send me to hell. God doesn't force the Bible on nobody. Basic instruction before leaving earth. God doesn't force no one to serve him. He just presents his word. There's those who will reject him. And there's those who will accept it. Except a man be born again of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. In order to enter the kingdom of God, you must repent from your sins. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, Yahshua HaMashiach, for the remissions of sins, and he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Someone said, uh, I'm obey God because I want God to bless me. I, I want God to answer my prayer. All that is great, but let's take it a little further than that. There ought to be a higher heights and deeper depths. I want to obey God because he deserves to be obeyed. Ooh, I felt the Holy Ghost right there. I'm going to say that again. I want to obey God because he deserves to be obeyed. Jesus said, if you love me, oh my God, I feel the anointing right now. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. I heard the Holy Spirit was talking to me. And he said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Love is a verb. Love is an action word. A noun is a person, place, I think. An adjective describes a noun. Love is a verb. So when you say that you love Jesus, that you will obey Jesus. That's why he said, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you say you love God, but you do not want to obey God, then you really don't love God. You're only giving God lip service. Do not just only be a hearer of the word, but become a doer of the word. Do not just only be a talker, but be a walker. When you love Jesus, you're not just only a talker, but you are a walker. Oh, we have to walk this thing, not just talk this thing. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost right there. That's why Jesus said what the prophet Isaiah said in the book of Matthew chapter number 15. He said, this people honor me with their lips and draw nigh unto me with their mouths. He said, they draw nigh unto me with their mouths, but their hearts are far from me. Oh, I went my heart.